I just realized it's been um, about eight months since I uh, last did any kind of video on this car. Um, <laughs> I'm still working on it. Like I said, it's very slow, but getting things done here and there. As you can see, I got the engine out again because I wanted to uh, go ahead and get in here and clean up the engine bay and uh, start prepping it for paint. Um, it's cleaning up really nicely. I'm going to redo all the uh, seals and joints and everything. Um, if I come through here, I'll show you. So I replaced this panel here. I still haven't, I still haven't drilled the three holes for the lights, but that's coming. You can kind of see my uh, welding here. Um, this is what it looks like from the inside. And um, I've still got to trim that uh, hole to a circle right there. And uh, then we'll go ahead and start cleaning up the engine bay some more. Um, I think in the last video I talked about the dash. Uh, my wife was in here cleaning out the car. As you can see, it's progressed quite a bit further. The entire uh, car is now kilomatted. Uh, doors, um, wheel wells and everything here. Um, I took the dash out, and um, I've restored it. I've got a little dirt on it here because stuff is sitting on it. But uh, if you look back at the video before this, you uh, remember that was completely cracked up, and um, spent some time on it and stuff, um, restoring the dash. I like it. it came out really nice. I think um, the uh, digital or plasma gauges. Are finished. Um, I'll have to do a video on those and just show how nice they light up and stuff. I was able to find a original net and divider for the car. Um, so I worked on it and got it basically restored. Um, when it came to me from Europe the ends were shattered in shipping and I had to um, basically rebuild them. Um, and it's all working now perfectly and it's in great shape. I mean, it, there's no rips or tears in the netting or in the vinyl. Um, really impressed. Uh, let's see, I did a little bit, uh, more work back in here. I don't remember if I showed in this last video, but this was rusted out, had a big hole in it. Um, and it was hidden. It, it was under the, um, the glass frame. So you really couldn't tell. You can see a little bit of surface body rust here. Um, I was not expecting to find a, f a hole right here that you could basically stick your two fingers through. Um, that was kind of a shock, but that's all fixed now. Um, I haven't taken out that pane of glass yet, but I will when I get around to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a pile of junk right now, but believe it or not, there's a... A little bit of order to this. I I know where everything is. I guess that's what matters. Um, oh, that's another thing too. You see one of the vents down there in the floor. Um, when I redid the dash, I found that some of the beauty rings in here were dented up. And um, the original vents that were in here, the plastic was really brittle. Um, and when I went to pull them out and stuff, I basically broke two of them. And the other two were, um, had been broken in the past by someone else. Uh, so I went ahead and got four new ones and uh, have replaced them. While I was in there, um, I went ahead and replaced all of the uh, vacuum actuators. Um, so the system is completely working now in the dash for the AC and, you know, the vents and stuff all open as they're supposed to. Um, that should make a huge difference when I the car back on the road. Um, I've started prepping the trim work and stuff. I got all the trim off the car. It's kind of just sitting on it right now. Um, and that's of course to get ready for paint as well. And we'll start doing its body work. Um, and really the body work isn't too terrible. It's got, you know, it's got some dings and stuff in it and I'm going to have to take care of and I'm going to have to fix some uh, mistakes that were in the paint from a previous owner who had a uh, 
what looks to be a $200 Mako paint job put on the car. And uh, it's basically just solid orange peel. And I wouldn't have to basically sand that off and get it ready. And then, of course, you know, get all this old glue off of the inside of the hood here and get a new hood pad put on. I don't... <laughs> yeah, that's insane how they did that. But anyway, it, it is what it is. It's just another thing to fix. Um, yeah. It's really at the point now where uh, uh, it's body work and paint, and she'll start going back together. Um, yeah, all the components and stuff are now have been repaired that I'm going to repair. Um, I think while I've got it at this point, I'm going to go ahead and replace the ends for the. Uh, it's not focusing. Yeah, replace the ends for the. Um, front stabilizer bar because of course I can access it right now which would be really hard if the engine was in. Um, a couple years ago I put a, I put a new uh, steering unit in so that's new and um, I replaced the master cylinder I think it was about three or four years ago so that's fairly new um, and I was lucky I replaced this joint here for this while they were still available, and then they went in LA, so I dodged a bullet there. Two, two, two. What else we got? Um, of course, in the past, when I started working on the car, one of the first things I did was I rebuilt this uh, high pressure hydraulic line, um, and uh, I built it to a uh, much higher um, standard than what was currently in the car by factory. As you can see, uh, it's rated for 4,000 PSI, which is significantly more than the system could ever put out. Um, what else do we got? I think that's about it. It's coming along. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting this engine bay done. That'll be the first thing I paint, of course. Um, and uh, so I'll get all this body work done. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and like fill any of the holes and stuff that aren't actually being used for components and stuff, you know, the extra holes they put in from the factory. Um, and just clean it up. I, I want it to look nice and, and um, you know, not have all the extra uh, little dimples and all that other stuff in it that I can get rid of. Um, again, I'm not trying to make this car original. I'm cleaning it up for myself. The car is never going to be for sale, so... Um, you know, I, I know that kind of angers the purists and stuff out there, but you know what? I've owned the car for eight years already, and I plan on owning it for another uh, 20 if I'm around that long. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess I'll give you another update when I've got something uh, more interesting to show, and uh, we will stop there.